Are you scared of buying electric vehicles because the battery may run out before reaching your destination? Well, that's the least of your worries, since electric vehicles, as good as they may be on the eye, they may be extremely dangerous for your life. We know you are wondering how, well, it's been trending on the news recently that electric vehicles are now catching fire for no apparent reason. In 2016, several Galaxy Note 7 owners claimed that their mobile phones were overheating and catching fire. This ushered in the era of exploding Samsung devices. The investigation led to the conclusion that the phone's battery was faulty. In 2023, it seems the electric vehicle's batteries are the latest tech products catching fire. Think again before you go for that Tesla. Keep watching to fully understand what's going on. After the horrible Hurricane Idala stormed Florida in the last couple of days, several local stations have reported that electric vehicles, popularly called EVs, are going into flames for no apparent reason. Currently, a local fire department is advising owners to park 50 feet from any building, and that such flames may start at any time, even days later. Recently, it was discovered that it is not just the EVs. Electric motorcycles, scooters, and electric bicycles are also catching fire. Well, you would have listened to friends who have previously told you not to get an EV, which probably sounded like a conspiracy theorist. With the recent happenings, maybe what they're saying might make a lot of sense. You should not miss this if you or anybody close to you owns an electric car EV. EVs are frequently portrayed as the trend of the future, but what happens when the future clashes with Mother Nature's wrath? Electric automobiles that came into contact with the ocean saltwater during Hurricane Idalia's recent assault on Florida caught fire. This was not a one-off occurrence. The risk of ignition persists for weeks after a storm, putting you and your automobile in danger. Just think of the consequences if your car suddenly ignites while you're driving. The Florida residents who rode out during Hurricane Idalia this week probably weren't prepared for another possible danger this time on the land. Firefighters in Palm Harbor, Florida warned Tesla owners of the dangers of exposing their rechargeable car batteries to salt water after two separate instances involving the electric vehicles. The fire department warned people who may own a hybrid or electric vehicle that has come into contact with salt water due to recent flooding within the last 24 hours urgently need to relocate the vehicle from their garage without delay, the department wrote on their social media page. What is the cause of EV explosions? The experts believe that the lithium-ion batteries which are flammable should be kept out of salt water. The storm created a slippage of salt water to the batteries triggering ignition. Get your car up on some higher land if you can. The cells that make up a lithium-ion battery pack are housed in a sealed chamber, and the pack as a whole contains a flammable liquid electrolyte. The CBS News Innovation Lab found that EVs and plug-in hybrids have 1,000 times more cells than an e-bike. More powerful batteries with more individual cells have a higher failure rate. Palm Harbor Fire Rescue Training Chief Jason Haynes told CBS Money Watch that his department was towing a Tesla that had been submerged in Pinellas County, Florida, when it suddenly caught fire. He underlined the significance of removing potentially damaged vehicles from garages and moving them away from surrounding structures, saying that combustion can occur long after a car has been exposed to salt water. Electric golf carts, scooters, and bicycles should also be treated with caution since wet lithium-ion batteries might cause a fire. After the water evaporates, the salt that remains might act as a bridges between the battery's cells, allowing electricity to flow and potentially igniting a fire. Even though Tesla seems to have updated their safety policies as a result, Tesla advises its customers about the dangers of driving a flooded vehicle due to the potential of submersion. Some of the safety tips for dealing with a submerged vehicle include calling your insurance provider and treating the situation as if your car had been in an accident. The company further adds that drivers tow or safely relocate their vehicle to a location at least 50 feet 15 meters from structures or other combustible materials, such as other vehicles and personal belongings. Maybe it's time Elon focused more on another T other than Twitter, which now goes by the name X. I know the media has made us believe EVs are good for the planet and safe. However, can electric vehicles save themselves? Are EVs as safe as we've been led to believe? Why did a Tesla catch fire in broad daylight? Most importantly, are EVs near your home at risk too? Imagine driving along the Florida coast in the aftermath of Hurricane Idalia and suddenly being overcome by the terrifying realization that your electric vehicle is a ticking time bomb. The next time you hear the rumble of an approaching storm, give some thought to where you've parked your EV. When Mother Nature's wrath meets cutting-edge technology, the repercussions can be more than just harmful. They can be downright explosive. If we know the cause, then why is no one acting to stop it? 
The United States Fire Administration claims that when salt is present in a battery, conductive bridges can form between the different parts of the battery, leading to overheating and possible death. Let's put this in layman's terms. Lithium-ion batteries power electric vehicles, but when salt water gets inside them, it can cause electrical circuits to bypass the battery's normal pathway. Remember that salt does more than improve the taste of your french fries. It may also spice up an electrical fire caused by a clogged pathway, and it gets worse, a car fire. However, while accidents and mechanical failures are fairly predictable causes of fires in gas-powered vehicles, accidental flames caused by electric vehicles are always a risk compared to gasoline and diesel vehicles. A Federal Emergency Management Agency assessment from 2015 found that the rate of fire occurrences involving gas-powered vehicles has dropped to 1.7 per 1,000 vehicles, thanks to decades of advancements in safety technology. In addition, while firefighters have years of experience dealing with gas and diesel fires, they're still learning the best ways to deal with EV fires, and this lack of experience can be extremely risky. If you're thinking, oh, this is just because of salt water, I'm totally safe, as a certain Jennifer Rotolo did, then you should take a look at what happened to her house. Jennifer Rotolo, a resident of Nocatee, Florida, had the scare of her life when the Mercedes-Benz EQE350 she had left charging in her garage caught fire on its own. The tragedy was enormous, as the house they had lived in for five years was destroyed in the fire. Seems EVs are now contributing to global warming. This bizarre incident has not only happened in Florida, it happened in far away where in Massachusetts this year, where in another frightening incident, an electric vehicle on a driveway caught flames for no apparent reason, and it took firefighters over 3 hours and 11,000 gallons of water to quench the hazard. Do you believe EVs are capable of protecting the environment? Well, your guess is as good as mine. There have been similar reports in Phoenix, Arizona. It's like when you buy an EV, you better make sure the fire department is on your emergency speed dial. While some people shouldn't get worried quoting statistics and research like the Highway Loss Data Institute study that found that EVs don't catch fire any more often than traditional cars, we must remember that the fleet of EVs on the road is significantly smaller and newer and less used than their fossil fuel counterparts. As of early 2023, 7% of new vehicles sold were all electric. What will happen as this percentage rises and as these cars get older? Older cars, including EVs, are more likely to catch fire, so as these electric cars age, we can only anticipate an increase in catastrophic fires, which can start days to weeks later, says the report. If you believe it is safe to drive in deep water with your electric vehicle while it's sitting there looking innocent, you are gravely mistaken. I've heard EV owners claim that their engines cannot flood, so they can drive in deep water, but this is untrue. The combination of water and your EV's lithium-ion battery can result in electrical shorts and overheating, and before you know it, you're dialing 911. But wait, there's more. Even if you act responsibly and call emergency personnel, don't assume you're out of danger. A terrifying truth is revealed by Andrew Clock, the National Fire Protection Association's Director of Electric Vehicle Training for Firemen, is that EV makers frequently don't aim the water in the right place, making it so that even professionals may not know how to put out the fire your electric car has become. If the water isn't aimed under the chassis where the battery is located, your firefighting efforts are useless and are equivalent to trying to stomp a volcano with a jar of water. People, this isn't a drill. This isn't hypothetical. There's a fatal flaw in electric cars that can turn them into a show of horrors days to weeks after you think the threat has passed. For the love of all that is good, don't let your guard down around that sleek eco-friend. The car in your driveway may be your worst enemy, planning its fiery betrayal when you least expect it. Do you think EVs are safe? Let us know in the comments.